time to get physical. Just kidding. It's time to get physical, but metaphysical. <laughs> <laughs> We're here with Jennifer Weigel. She's an award-winning Chicago journalist and the author of several books, including one called I'm Spiritual, Damn It. And Jen also seeks out physic, psychic mediums and gurus for regular events at the Wilmette Theater. The next one is coming up this week. Yeah, Jennifer Weigel, welcome to The Jam. Tell us how you became interested in the subject of the afterlife. Oh, really thanks curious. for having me, guys. Well, unfortunately, a lot of people go down this path because they've had a loss. Mm -hmm. And for me, my dad died of a brain tumor when he was just 56, and I was just sort of lost. So mm -hmm. as a journalist, I went out and investigated a lot of this, thinking that I was just sort of going to out all the frauds. Four books later, I'm still having these wow. conversations. So yeah. to me, as a journalist, you want your sources to be someone you can, like, call on the landline. <laughs> Yeah, you know? sure. yeah, it's hard so when it's, you can't touch, feel, right. necessarily see it. Mm -hmm. So what have those experiences been like? What keeps you believing in this? Well, I always tell people I'm not telling anyone what to believe, but I'm going to put the stories out there and you can believe what you want. And so there's so much compelling evidence. I call it compelling because it's one of those things where you're scratching your head going, oh, what? Like, for example, Echo Bodine, the woman I'm bringing to the theater, uh, she's coming in from Minneapolis, and she's only been here a couple of times. And she is in my last book my most recent book and I brought with me a friend to visit her I didn't tell echo anything about this friend but she had lost her son and so when echo brought up this woman's son without any notion of who the woman was what her son's name was you know that's pretty compelling evidence when you don't give anybody any information ahead of time I always give it the Google test like if you can't Google it and they say it I'm impressed. So that's the kind of stuff I try to put out there. I'm trying to be the bridge between the weird and the woo-woo and the metaphysical <laughs> and the doctors and the science. You know, I'm just trying to bridge it all. Yeah, no question. Jennifer, I, you, you said you came into it skeptical naturally. Totally. You're trying to out the frauds. Yeah. You must have had some sort of experience yourself personally, a supernatural one, yeah. to flip you, I imagine, right? Totally. I mean, I, I met with a woman who basically recapped a conversation I'd had that morning with my bosses that apparently my dead dad was in on and I was like excuse me unless you had a microphone in that office I don't know how this is possible so again you go that's weird all these that's weird experiences and then, like I mentioned with echo bringing up that woman's son having no information about it and I see it over and over again I do this podcast called I'm spiritual damn it on WGN radio and these conversations happen every week and it just makes me scratch my head but the shows like Tyler the medium and the Long Island medium people are so into this yeah I, you know I gotta interrupt really quick because yeah. I have a personal experience of my own. I lost my brother to a heart attack this past year. So the week, uh, the weekend leading up to the funeral, mm -hmm. we had a group of people together for a dinner. It was at a really nice restaurant. Mm -hmm. My brother wasn't that type of guy. He didn't like the nicer things. He liked the dive bars. Yeah. So it's all my friends gathered in this restaurant. It's the summertime. It's the middle of August. It's really hot. The power goes out. Yeah. So we're sitting up there in this restaurant. Power goes out in the place. And I look up and I say, Joey, I get it. You don't want us to be here. They turn the lights out the power. Right. The whole meal goes on. They still manage to get the food ready. We're right. in heat. It's so hot. The lights are out. We go to leave. I go, all right, Joey, the dinner's over. Do you think you can turn the lights on expletive? The lights came right back on. Like right. that. Well, they all say Isn't that, that they, crazy? they can manipulate electronics. They can do lots of things like that. And they say to ask for the signs and signals and they'll show up. So I just tell people it's a fun ride if you're open to it. And if you're not, that's fine too. I'm not trying to change your beliefs. We got to talk a little bit more after the break. But can you tell us uh, about tickets you're giving away? Yeah, I'm giving away tickets. If people go to my website, jenweigel.com, W E I G E L, email me. You have to be able to go this Thursday night, though. It's at 7 o'clock at the Wilmette Theater. So don't email me and be like, oh, sorry, I'm out of town. <laughs> yeah, if you can make it, we'll have you there. And I would look forward to meeting everybody. We can learn about all the signs and signals on Thursday. Yes. So the Conversations with Weigel series continues on Thursday night at the Wilmette Theater with author, psychic, and intuitive healer Echo Bodine. And if you don't win tickets by emailing Jen, which you should, you can buy them for 20 bucks a piece or two for 35. Just visit wilmettheater.com for more information.